What's going on guys? This is Hallie with Back Fishing. I am so glad to be out here. Sorry I haven't posted in a bit, in a, you know, what they say in a minute. Man, uh, just stuff happening in January. I usually referee high school basketball going up and down the, the court and uh, I got injured and I uh, couldn't walk for four days and I go, what's up with this? What is going on with this? Am I getting old already? Am I, is my body like giving up on me? So I went to go see an orthopedic uh, surgeon or doctor and uh, this is the explanation in this clip. All right guys, uh, I'm in the doctor's office today and I'm getting my knees uh, looked at. I have some real bad pain. I, this, this is my second uh, appointment and, and um, prognosis is that I have osteoarthritis in both of my knees, but this appointment is going to be telling me um, the options that I have, either like surgery or, or so forth. So I'm going to see uh, our doctor today and uh, hopefully I can get out of the water pretty soon um, and with no delays. All right. All right. So with that said, guys, you know, um, I haven't really posted anything, but I did a few how-to videos. January also, I had some issues with my waders. My neoprene waders sprung a leak, and then I couldn't go out. So I had to fix that. So I do have a how-to video coming up on how to fix neoprene waders. The other video too was, uh, you know, a little senior moment for me. I went crabbing. It's uh, late at night and you know, the same thing happened to my pole. I left my um, rod holder, my rod holder that was like a $60 value. It was stainless steel, solid uh, construction, was given to me a lot of intrinsic value to that rod. I was so bummed and um, I lost it. I, I drove away, it was in the evening. I put it next to the tire and I drove away just like I did before with the fishing pole. So I'm gonna do those how-to videos um, coming up pretty shortly. So um, when I was at the doctor's office, they shot me with a um, cortisone shot, like a steroid in, in my one knee. And oh my gosh, it's like a rejuvenation of youth. <laughs> I'm not achy anymore. So now I'm actually refereeing on the weekends now, but only like up to fifth grade because I'm not ready for, you know, going up and down with the high school yet. But next year, I know that I have to get this shot in my knees to, to prepare for um, high school basketball. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna do a little short video today. We're out in the river. It is absolutely gorgeous, very still. Okay, I'm gonna show you the river real quick. Not too many fish coming up from uh, the bank been fairly slow so anyways I'm gonna try my luck today I saw a few rises and rollers out here yesterday well wish me luck just a um, little update guys of my uh, equipment my tackle got a 3000 fuego um, HMX uh, Fenwick it's 10-6 got 20 pound braid and I have a float 3 8 and uh, this is about a half ounce, I think, maybe. Um, and then I have uh, a jig with a uh, orange head on it. This is hand tied by a friend of mine and uh, he catches fish. So uh, let's get it. All right. It looks like there's a, a boat out here. It is uh, a sheriff. All right, boat bite, baby. Let's go. As I was saying, guys, uh, it was. It's really nice to be out here um, fishing. I'm gonna go higher. I don't want those uh, wake to hit my my feet and get my foot all wet 
they say being outdoors is like a super anti-stress reliever. I truly believe that. I mean, not that I have a lot of, you know, stress, but yeah, it, it, um, it's just like that laughter is the best medicine. You know, I guess your endorphins, all the, uh, the chemical in your body that's positive um, show up and that makes you feel good. That's what the outdoors do for you. And uh, let me reel this in and cast again. What you want to do is, I'll just cast um, real close to, to show you what that bobber will look. So right there, guys, that's exactly what you want the bobber to do going down river. It's vertical. The float is pretty upright vertical that means you're fishing and uh, if you had a question about where that bait is is at during the uh, the float it is basically trailing it's trailing your your um, bobber so but if it's moving like you know like like this like it's jaggedy, it's moving quite a bit. That means you're hitting bottom. So you adjust the um, bobber stopper above the, the, the uh, bobber. All right, let's do a real cast out there and we'll fish. So as I explained, when I casted it, oh, excuse me. When I casted it uh, really close, you know, the bobber is, I'm gonna mend my line a little bit. The bobber is very upright. That means I'm fishing and it's not hitting bottom. We're in a good spot. You wanna be about a foot above the, um, the bottom too, because the steelhead kind of hug the bottom, least path of resistance. All right, guys. All right, guys. Here's a good opportunity right here to show you how that bobber should be acting like on the surface. Right there you can see it's nice and vertical, okay? And then when you see a bow in the line, you just kind of mend it like so. Because different parts of the river flow different speeds. So what I like to actually to do is when I'm actually doing this with my finger, I actually like it in this position because if you get a strike, that bail is closest to your palm and you can just shut it like that and then do the hook set. So, uh, you know, just little things here and there that um, would help you maybe, you know, get a better hook, hook set. So, example again. All right, the water is looking kind of nice right now with the reflection. So my lot, you can see my line right there. Okay, and I'm gonna have this, but I'm gonna have it in this position on that locking position. If you crank it one more time, it's gonna um, set the the bail close, but. This is a good position because now it's closest to you and you can just flip it and then do the hook set. And then just like this. Now I'm ready to retrieve it, so boom. Just like that. Just a little um, stuff that I noticed that might help so you guys can try it yourself. We're fishing a jig today, guys. Okay, I'm gonna open the bail and retrieve it like that and then have it in that position. Now I can release some line. And again, when I mentioned before, if you get a, a strike, Bam, that bail's super close to your palm. And that should 
improve your chances of hooking up. All right, so down there, so bam, no fish, but that's how to do it. Give it a try. If you like it, adapt it, but that works for me. Been fishing uh, quite a bit. I was like second to last cast then. Anyways guys, thank you for watching the, uh, the video. I appreciate all your, your support. Again, if you guys like the content, please hit uh, the notification button so that when I do upload, you won't miss anything. Service unto others is the rent you pay here on earth. All right, see you out there, guys. See you outdoors.